Dashed off, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash. What's going on, everybody? We are back. We made it. Smoke diggity diggity back up in your dog. What up? What number is this, my friend? It is 61. Want to welcome everybody back to the 61st episode of the Trash Talk Podcast. Boom! We made it. I already said that, didn't I? But yeah. we, we made it again. It's okay to give them another boom. I know, man, because during these tumultuous times that we are going through right now, we do need to reemphasize that we made it. And you, it's okay to say boom occasionally. Boom, yeah. <laughs> Guys, before we get started, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. And for God's sakes, leave us a comment, man. Please do. We have an episode for you today. We do. We got, we got. We we got an episode. <laughs> Smokey, how much do you know about astronomy? I don't know a lot about astronomy. Uh I know what my sign is. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Okay. See, I'm an Aries. Uh-huh. Um, let me ask you this. Do you know anything about Aries? Not right offhand. Do you know anything about Leos? I do. I mean, just from what I've read, everybody's curious and they, they look into their own sign to see if it fits how their personality or what you take to be your personality. You right. Know? I don't know anything about Leo. You don't know anything about Aries. So. Yeah, so that's why we're going to get into this. See if our signs supposedly fit us. Right. And if we're supposed to even get along in the first place. 100%. So before we get started, we need to get into some good old fashioned trash talk. Booyah! Have the crowd go wild. Smoke diggity dog back, back up, up in you. <laughs> oh man. All right, astronomy. Yes, yes. I don't know why, but I've always thought this was something that, you know, just females are into. It does seem to be more female in nature, right? Like you see more females that tend to be into astronomy than why do you think that is astrology oh man you now you got me second guessing myself which one's astrology and which one's astronomy astronomy is the study of the astrological signs and how they pertain to people on earth whereas astrona astrology is actually the study of fixed bodies in space i don't know the website says astrology it is it's well maybe i got it backwards then well, we're talking. I thought I had it right, but we're, we're talking about astrological signs. signs. That's there what we're doing, go. whether so, it's right or wrong. So this is gonna might come off a little misogynistic. Uh oh. But trigger uh, warning. Yeah. Um. A good conversation starter. If you're interested into a girl. Mm hmm. Hey, what's your sign? Yeah, exactly. That starts off a conversation like nothing. Yeah. And just to be fair, I'm sure there's a lot of men out there oh, yeah. that are into it as well, you know. A lot of new agers out there these days. Yeah. With um now I'm I'm going to be honest with you. I know what sign I am. I know some of the traits, but like you get some people that are so in depth and like, "Oh, well my moon is the quarter of uh Europa and it's only in retrograde when this happens." And I'm like, "Uh, yeah. Okay. See, I've tried to learn things like that, but I never really got into it far enough to to understand how all that works." But anyway, what do you want to start with? Let's do this. All right, me being an Aries, the mm -hmm. reason I think I should go first is because Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. Okay. Chart. Okay? Let's do it. All right, let me tell you a little bit about me and I want this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say some things and you tell me if it fits my All right. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's start off with the base, basic stuff. <clears throat> Our element is fire. Uh-huh. Now, what I know of Aries is we are the ram we like to be belligerent we like to start stuff we like to uh raise raise hell you know we'll start crap and try our best to finish it so but far. at the same time we're very passionate we're, that's where the fire comes from like i have a deep fire love for this person you know yes 
So uh, what mine says is uh, my quality is a cardinal. The, my color is red. That's not my favorite color. Favorite color is green. My day is got the club going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> um, my planet is Mars. Yes. And greatest overall compatibility are my mama and the guy that I'm doing this with. My oh, mom's wow. birthday is October 6th, and she is a Libra. Uh-huh. And my folk that I'm doing this with is birthday is July 25th. And that he's a Leo. a Leo. Those are the two people that I'm most compatible with. That's I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, lucky, my lucky numbers are 1, nice. 6, <laughs> 8, and 17. Oh, wow. Um, all right, let's see. Strengths. I'm courageous, I'm determined, I'm confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, and passionate. What do you think? Yeah, all but honesty. Okay, I mean, <laughs> hey, keep it real. <laughs> no, actually, you will be honest a lot, man. I, you just have this thing where you told me one time, you said, I ain't going to lie. I be lying a lot. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but I lie a lot. <laughs> that was so funny because I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I said you exaggerating something. And you was like, I ain't gonna lie. I be lying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it says, okay, I'm c- courageous. I'm determined, confident. I'm definitely confident. Yeah. I'm one of the most cocky, conceitedest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. Um, very enthusiastic. I'm optimistic. I'm always thinking for the best. I'm extremely passionate, but determined. Oh, yes, I'm determined. All that is me, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, my God. What about God. your weaknesses? Dude, my weaknesses. Number one is impatient. Oh, yeah. Am I impatient? Yes. I am very impatient. If, yes. If I want something, I want it now. Yeah. There's a reason I don't do Amazon Prime. <laughs> Why? Because I can't get it now. <laughs> okay. So you'd rather go to a store. I want it now. If I'm going to give you my money, I want my product now. Yeah. I am impatient. Uh-huh. Um, I'm moody. I'm short-tempered and very impulsive. And uh, I'm aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, I like comfortable clothes. I like taking on leadership roles. Yes, I do. Physical challenges. Uh, I don't really know about that one. That one... Nah, and the reason I say that is because I've suffered with addiction, and mm-hmm. if I was up for physical challenge, I'd be willing to say, hey, I'm just going to deal with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, And individual sports, I guess you could call gaming a sport and podcasting a sport. Yeah. So, yeah. For sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, the things that I dislike is inactivity. I hate not being doing, not being productive. Mm-hmm. Delays. I hate delays. Like, let's keep going. What are we stopping for? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Um, and work that does not use one's talents. Absolutely. There's a reason I'm doing podcasts. There's a reason I make music. There's a reason we do reactions yeah. because I'm a talented person, you know? Yes. Um, yeah, and I'm the first sign. So th- those are my strengths, my weaknesses, and... Uh huh. Let's see what see what you got. Get into mine. See yeah. if they fit me. Well, uh, first of all, my element is fire. Also, we have the same element. Yes, quality is fixed, and I don't understand what exactly that is. But maybe I know I'll... exactly what that means. What do you mean? You're stuck in your ways. Well, you're fixed. Yeah. You're, you're. It's hard for you to change. Yes, that that's definitely true. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I can adapt, but it's hard for me to to change my overall. Uh, direction or whatever if uh, you know stay the course do you think that's a bad thing not necessarily determination is not a bad thing i don't think okay but um my color is gold yellow and orange gold yellow and orange just so glad red wasn't in there <laughs> i'm surprised black wasn't in there you... i know that's my favorite color is black but my day is sunday which is the day we, we record. recording right now. And this is why it's always the easiest for me to do Sundays. Oh, that's so crazy. My ruler is the sun. We are the people of the sun. Well, your life. You're, mm-hmm. You give life. Yes. Uh, overall, greatest compatibility, Aquarius and Gemini. Damn, I'm, I thought Aries would be in there. I would have thought so, too, but... I don't know how they linked yours to mine, but not mine to yours. October. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Any of your longest relationships, were any of them Aquarius or Gemini's? Or? 
I don't think so. No. I, I don't think so. That's probably no. why they didn't last. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, my lucky numbers, one, three, which is actually one of my lucky numbers, is a three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ten and nineteen. Oh, okay. Uh, date range, yeah, we already got that. Do you know what your mom's sign is? Cancer. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. I have bad experiences with cancer. I have too. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, when it comes to females and relationships, it just don't work with a cancer. I mean, they're, no. they're called a cancer for a reason, <laughs> you know? No, no, hold on. Let's don't offend the people out there who are cancers. I apologize to all the crabs. Aren't they crabs? Cancers? They? I think you guys are crabs. Maybe so. Yeah. Anyway. I just know I'm a lion. My strengths are creative, passionate, generous. Warm-hearted, cheerful, and humorous. All that fits you. I think so. All that fits you. My weaknesses are arrogant, stubborn, fixed, um, self-centered, lazy, and inflexible. None of that is you. You don't think? What was the first one? Arrogant. You're not arrogant. I don't think so. Not at all. What else was it? Stubborn. I mean, I, you could see that because fixed, fixed. if you're going to be determined and stuck in your ways than stubborn not really but i guess what else you got as your week self-centered no i don't think so lazy no No. i'm a workaholic me too uh inflexible Mm. that's kind of the same thing as fixed yeah it is yeah okay leo likes actually nah i was gonna say something but what inflexible Hey, man, any way you can come over earlier to start the nope. podcast? <laughs> nope. I'll be that, there at four. <laughs> that fits me. <laughs> and I I did that exact thing today. He's like, can you come any earlier? I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I do get in that mode where I'm like, this is how I had it set, and this is what I'm going to do. Right, and it'll be 45 minutes late. I'm never late. He's been late a few times. No. Yes, only you... the only time I've ever been late is when I told you something happened and I'm gonna be late. Okay, I'll I get... never just show up thirty minutes late like you do. I... Oh, and it's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> you show up late to your own house. <laughs> you show up late to your own funeral. <laughs> Leo likes theater, taking holidays. We just had a discussion about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Being admired, I kind of like that. Yeah. Who doesn't though? Exactly, expensive things. Yeah, I mean I. I do. Do you? Yeah. I don't know that my lifestyle actually reflects that, but I do like expensive. But everybody does, right? I would say so. I mean, everybody wants to have something nice. Yeah. Uh, Bright colors. No. Fun with friends. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. You're very social when it comes to social media. Yeah. I'll give you that. For sure. You're very vocal when it comes to your opinion. (laughs) You will let your opinion be known. If somebody is out there buying 17 rolls of toilet paper, there's one person that's going to tell you why that's a problem. Yes. And it's this guy. And I will do that. Yes. (laughs) Leo dislikes being ignored. Is that true? Yeah. I'll look on my social media and see. Why is no one talking to me? <laughs> Actually, I don't ever do that, but uh, I don't know. Actually, maybe, I don't know. I don't abruptly like, hey, give me attention or anything, you know. Right. Uh, sometimes I like being alone, so maybe I, that's not one. I am definitely an introvert. I, I am too. I am an INFJ a personality type. Whatever that means. We're, we're going to get into that on a future podcast. Okay. Facing difficult reality. I don't get that one at all. You get, you know what that means, right? Yeah, I mean. Like, you're going through something and it's extremely hard to go through. Yeah, I don't know. I've always met things head on. Really? Yeah. See, go ahead, because I want to say something about all this. All right, and... My last dislike is not being treated like a king or queen. Is that you? Mm, Not really. Maybe in a relationship. I don't know. Okay, now, maybe then. Maybe a lot of these things are pertaining to personal relationships also, you know. Now, here comes the skeptic mind of old Hollywood here. Yeah. I think all this is BS. Maybe so. It's all BS, bro. What it is, I look at astronomy... Mm-hmm. astronomy as a form of psychic yeah like what they do is they just take general terms that 
basically applies to everyone in some sort of way. Like, I bet I could be psychic to you right now, and I promise you would think I was psychic. Like, you or I don't know you, but you have an uncle, you have an uncle, a granddaughter. I mean, you have an uncle, an aunt, or a nephew or a niece in your family's name, and it starts with a J. No. No Aunt J. No middle names J. No cousins J. Uh, maybe a cousins. I'd have to think of all of them and go through it all. But that's easy. You just paint a broad stroke there. That's it. That's <laughs> all it is. It's like, oh, I'm a generous person. Oh, I did give out a dollar today. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just seems like it's they use it as a broad term. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. All right, let's get this straight, though, real quick. I know we, we've actually done this on a podcast before, mm-hmm. the difference between astrology and astronomy, and I always confuse the two terms. I know the difference between the two, but it's always mixing up the two terms, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, astrology and astronomy were... Uh, hold on, that that's just... I need the, the difference here. Mm-hmm. Smokey is the worst person when it astronomy, comes to Astronomy. <laughs> okay, maybe we did have it backwards this time. Astronomy is a science that studies everything outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Astrology, on the other hand, is the belief that the positioning of the stars and planets affect the a certain uh, affect the way events occur on Earth. Yeah. So what are what are we discussing? We're discussing astrology. Astrology. Yeah. Okay. So to everyone out there, we apologize for getting it wrong. Yeah. Easy mix up though. I mean, I mean, you can understand tomato, yeah. tomato. You can understand yeah, exactly. But do you do you think that it's kind of like a um, like, do you believe in this? Do you think, like, oh, man, that's so me, or... Nah, I don't know. I think it could be possible that somehow the galaxy, you know, affects your mu- mood in a certain way, depending on where the positioning of Earth was at the time you were born. I don't know. I mean, there's some... It seems like a lot to fall into place to make that happen. Uh, yeah there's some people that take this so serious they say like they'll before they get in relationships they'll be like hey what time were you born what uh state were you born in uh was it sun up sun down like well if you want to go the nature versus nurture route yeah maybe you know something to do with being born in a hot month has something to do with it. maybe Maybe there is something to like when you were born and the location of where you were born has something to do with Your rather person. than you know where Mars was when you were born. You know, man, you know me and planets and all this. Yeah, we're not getting into. We're that. not going to get into it, but I'm just saying it seems like a, just a broad spectrum of, of something that affects everybody. Mm-hmm. Like most people, would you agree with this? Most people are generous. Would you agree with that? I wouldn't say more. Well, I'd say maybe half the people are generous and half people are greedy. You wouldn't you wouldn't say more than half of people are generous? I don't know. All right, how about this? Would you say majority of the people are loving? Yeah. Right. I mean, everybody has something. Even serial killers have something they love, you know? God, you just took it to the extreme <laughs> yeah. here. Well, yeah. I mean, that's an extreme example. But, yeah, everybody has something they love in life. Yeah, man. When it comes to, like, uh, like I said, I know some girls, man, that are, if you're not born on this day. But I, let, let's get back to the cancer thing. Mm-hmm. My past two relationships were terrible. Mm-hmm. Both of them cancers. Mm-hmm. Is there something to that? Well, looking at my chart, it didn't say that I'm, damn, did yours say who you weren't compatible with? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it says what I don't like. Um, huh. I don't know, but I'm almost positive. If a, if cancers aren't uh, compatible with Aries, I totally... Oh, no. It just shows compatibility, but not... Uh, uncompatibility. Yeah. Incompatibility, yeah. Uh Oh, it does say Leo belongs to the element of fire, just like Aries and Sagittarius. All right, so yeah, we can, you can see why we click. Yeah. Um, if you go down, let's let's read our horoscope for today. 
Mm-hmm. And you tell me if it goes with what you went through today or what I went through today. <laughs> there goes episode 61. I can fix that. <laughs> you see yours on there? Can you read that? What is it now? Like, uh, if you scroll down. For today? Yeah, it'll say your today's. Sunday. Danger has become imminent for everyone what and the collective flow is at the peak of fear and inner pressure relax your chest send positive thoughts and emotions to those you love and see how the love you send comes back what do you think of that well that definitely fits what's going on right now okay could the person that's writing this story just be going off of what the global news is they and just... definitely could be yeah I mean, is that pertaining to your yeah, life? They, I mean, read yours. Let's see if they all have it. All right. Mine says, knowing that you don't want to take any path of destruction, especially not with the sun in Aries. Aren't you, isn't your sign the sun? or No, my uh, controlling, uh, what do they call it here? I think it said something about the sun. It this. is. Uh, I just actually just read that to yeah, you. It shows our memory. Uh, <laughs> Leo belongs to the element of fire, just like Aries and Sagittarius. Now, I am, uh, my ruler is mm. the sun. Okay, so mine for today says, knowing that you don't want to take any path of destruction, especially not with the sun in Aries, you don't need to put your head through a wall due to current circumstances. Mm-hmm. Notice that the right time to deal with notice that the notice that the right time to deal with these things will soon approach. So yeah. that's kind of vague. It's oh. I'm gonna pick out Scorpio. Do you now, know a Scorpio? Uh, T Slim is a Scorpio. Old T. Woof, 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 that was his uh, uh, rap name at one time. He wanted to be called Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, before he came up with T-Sum. Isn't that uh, a wrestler? Too Cold Scorpio. Too Cold Scorpio. Man, you know what? There actually is kind of a resemblance between T-Slim and Too Cold Scorpio now. Oh, it is. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, what does it say? This is Scorpio for today. Some of the seemingly positive choices might have poor outcomes and you need your hunch in you need your hunch in place and your feelings out of question today hmm. what you feel is this is really vague too though all of them are it's just general sentences that apply to everyone yeah that's all it is to me i would love it if they actually gave specifics though but then again, you know, what are the chances that all Leos are going through the exact same thing right now, you know? No, but they use general things like you may be feeling a certain kind of way today. Be careful who you speak to. A new friend may come into your life. Avoid them. See, I would be much more impressed if they're like, you feel exactly like this today. And then I'm like, wow, every Leo feels like that today. That's crazy. That would be impressive. Yeah. You, I take it, like, look at fortune cookies. Mm-hmm. When pe- oh, that's... <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Some people open fortune cookies and they're like, dude, look at this. Like, bruh. It, uh, it's always fun, though, when you find one and you hang on to it and it eventually comes true, though. Yeah. I mean, some of them you'll get and they're right on the head. Doesn't like- it feel like a ripoff, though, when you get the one that says, be kind to everyone you meet today? And you're like, uh, you think? Where's my fortune? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. That's what a fortune is. It's exactly. A- but so often they're just like, Confucius says, keep your head up, you know. I think, uh, I- <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, man, it, that, that might be the earliest form of scam. Is it a scam, though? Think about it. Think about the back voodoo. They give them away free, though. No, no, no. Like, let's take this back in the day. Like, voodoo priest and uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Zulu people and shamans, they take bones and uh, chicken bones and chicken hair and all these things and throw them out. Toss them out. And, oh, this is your... Bro, you just threw some bones on the ground. What about reading palms? BS, if I've ever heard it. I've never really tried to read one. I mean, we all have different. Listen, if you want to, you believe in psych? Couldn't I like your hand tells nothing. Yeah, if your hand is much bigger than a different person, I don't know. That means you have a big hand. That means you have a. 
I don't know, dude. I'm trying to figure out the logic behind it. Or a way that could make sense. Like, the lines are, I mean, if you're, if you have really fat palms, your, your lines are going to be different, but. Or what if you. I don't know what that means. What if you had a prosthetic head? <laughs> I mean, somebody's gonna read your prosthetic. prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> it seems here you're gonna have your hand chopped off at some point. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. A lot of yeah. It. Do you believe in psychics? Uh, I don't not believe in them. You think so? You think it's real? Or no, you I don't think know? I think maybe it's possible. <sighs> you don't know. I'm willing to bet money that it's not. I just think it's all vague. And there's actually science, dude. There's a, a not a bet, uh, like a grant or something going on to this day that's been in place since the sixties. Yeah, 60s. what's that guy's name? Has the long beard. Yeah, he said if you can prove any form of psych, uh, uh, mm-hmm. psych, what's the word? Psychism. Psychic activity. Psy- psychic activity. Yeah, he of gives any you kind. He like always a million gave, dollars. It started with that guy Yuri Geller. I remember his name. Mm-hmm. You know, he would always go on these uh, late night shows and talk shows and perform these little magic tricks. And that guy came along, and I can't remember his name right offhand, but he came along, and his mission in life was this to disprove to prove, that guy. <laughs> and no one's, I mean, right now, if you think you have psychic ability, you can go apply for this and potentially get a million dollars. Why has no one done it since the 60s? Maybe because it's BS. It's possible. Or here's another one I saw on. There used to be a show called Joe Rogan Questions Everything. Yeah, you know that show. Mm-hmm. They took five psychics mm-hmm. and they placed a box in the middle of the woods and they put all five psychics in different locations mm-hmm. and they had to use their psychic abilities to see if they could reach this box. Mm-hmm. No one found the box. Yeah. Why didn't your psychic? Here's the problem that I have. It's really not fun to just sit back and go, yeah, it's not true. Nothing's true. It's, everything's false. I, no, I, I like to think that maybe there's a possibility that it could exist. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I do believe that there's probably a lot of fakers out there running around. Oh, yeah. I mean. And if that's the case, don't you think these people would be winning lotteries? Yeah, exactly. I mean, but... Yeah. Maybe there have been people that have done it that are just not pushing themselves uh, out in the limelight. Maybe there's so many fakers that have done it that, you know, they ruin it for the real people. But then the real people might have just took their lottery winnings and went, went off into the business. sunset. Yeah. Because that is something you can do. You can remain anonymous. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're you're right. You changed my mind on that. I'm, I, I'm not going to say I don't believe in it because I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's the the only thing that's that's definite in life is nothing is definite. Say that again. The only thing in life that's definite is nothing is definite. Okay. A a good one I heard is you can't expect the unexpected because that would make the unexpected expected. expected. Exactly. That is dope, dude. I love that. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Man, anyway, that wraps up this uh, good old-fashioned trash talk. That is it. Smoke down. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get into some OMG. OMG and some WTF. Oh, my Georgia, what the flowder. What the flowder. I think I go first on this one, don't I? Yes, you do. All right. You ready for this? Yes. Georgia stole, I'm sorry, stolen coffee trailer has Georgia residents buzzing. <laughs> now, a stolen tractor trailer filled with Folgers coffee has been buzzing in Albany, Georgia. The truck, a 2010 Kenworth day cab with a 2009 53 foot trailer worth. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? A hundred and five thousand dollars was stolen over the weekend from a local trucking company. The cargo, 39,000 pounds of Folgers coffee, <clears throat> is worth more than $139,000, Jesus. Ac- according to a WSB-TV. Uh, Doltry County Police Sergeant Chad Kirkpatrick doubts that there are enough caffeine addicts to buy up so much coffee. <laughs> so On the black market, how much is that coffee worth? Hey, bro, <laughs> I got that, that Folgers for the low, folks. It's double caffeinated. Double. 
I mean, if you buy it, I got some decaf. I'll throw in for free because ain't nobody buying that stuff. You ain't got no espresso. Am I got a little espresso. Oh, man, I got some of that powder cappuccino. No, he don't. Oh, man, this will get you right in the morning. Get you ready for work. <laughs> But yeah, who the hell steals a tractor trailer filled with a hundred and coffee? I mean, where do you sell it? You know, this makes me think maybe they wanted the trailer, maybe, and just so happened that there was coffee. <laughs> and they're like, bonus, <laughs> we're gonna be jacked to the gills. I ain't buying coffee for the next fifteen years. <laughs> right? It's crazy, man. Yo. That, that, uh, that's my OFG. All right. WTF. What the flow to smoke? This comes from Channel 3 ABC Wear TV. Pensacola man drives a vehicle into a roof of Atlas Street home. This happened today as we were recording this on Sunday. Oh, wow. A Pensacola man drove his vehicle into the roof of a home on Atlas Drive after he fell asleep on the road, Florida Highway Patrol reports. Troopers say the man was driving the Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, the man driving the <laughs> Nissan Pathfinder was driving on Fairfield Drive approaching Atlas Street around 5.15 a.m. Sunday morning when he fell asleep and ran off the road. The car sped up as he headed into a ditch on the right shoulder, causing it to become airborne and crash into the home what? of the 1400 block. Atlas Street. Uh, The homeowner was asleep in the bedroom just next to where the car crashed Mm -mm. and faced no injuries. The car went through the roof? The car hit the ditch, (coughs) flew up airborne, and landed in the roof. And that's where it remained until police came to pull it out of there. Dude. The driver is charged with failure to maintain in lane. You think? <laughs> you think he's in my ceiling? That's crazy because I've been charged with reckless driving for a lot less than that. Yeah, you might have swerved out of your lane. Maybe forgot to turn your signal on. Yeah. Now fly into the ceiling of a uh, house. Yeah, and all you get is failure to maintain <laughs> lane. <laughs> Man, this guy was either... Yeah. Yeah, he might have been a little out there. Can't say he was coming back from the clubs or anything, because them clubs ain't open no more. <laughs> nah, you... Th- oh, yeah, you did say it happened. 5.15 this morning. Jesus, and this is being recorded on Sunday, March 22nd of 2020. Yeah, so by the time you guys hear this, you could look into that story and probably figure out what the guy's name is. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that wraps up this segment of OMG and WTF. Smoke Dog. What up? I got something for you to explain, my friend. I'm going to explain the hell out of it as soon as you give it to me. I will. Just a quick uh, question, though. Uh Uh-huh. Where exactly on screen does that show up? I think, if I remember correctly, it's going to show up somewhere right around... Bing! Right there. All right. What do you see here, my friend? I'll tell you as soon as I see it. Yeah, internet's kind of slow today. I see that. That. Oh. 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 What in the world... What do you got there? I I have a good guess. Okay, explain. I don't know if I'm right about this. These are obviously bones mm. piled up, a bunch of skulls in there. Mm. Are these in mm. the catacombs? Mm. He got it. Ah. Um, explain the rest of it to me, though. Yeah the the um headline says. Beneath Paris city streets, there's an empire of death waiting for tourists. More than 200 miles of tunnels sit just under the city of lights. Some line to the ceiling with skulls and bones. Mm-hmm. Um, just a quick background on it, guys. It says, um, as Paris grew into its, its role as a major European hub, it eventually ran into a major problem. By the 17th century... Enough people had lived and died in Paris that its cemeteries 
uh, that its cemeteries were overflowing, overstuffed mm-hmm. with graves to the point when corpses at times became uncovered. Literally, there were corpses just everywhere. Yeah. So uh, the solution arose to place them in the centuries-old tunnels that had existed beneath the streets of Paris since the 13th century. Uh, remnants of a time with limestone quarries were mined to build Paris into a thriving city. Uh, by the time these burials ended, six million Paris Peri- people are from Paris. Parisians. Are they really called Parisians? I think so. Isn't that how it's spelled? So what are who are, what are people from Peru? Peruvians. What about people from uh, Persia? Persians. Okay, so Parisians. Bones came to their final resting place in the city catacombs. Mm -hmm. Imagine you go down to Little Five Points. Mm -hmm. You go underground. Mm -hmm. Bones everywhere. (laughs) Yeah. Creepy. Exactly. You know what that makes me think of? Hmm. Just how many people have lived on this earth throughout time. That there's... At some point, these cities get overflown with dead people, and you have to dispose of those bodies so you have more room to bury more dead people. This is my question. They're bones now, right? Mm -hmm. So when they put them in the catacombs, was there still flesh on them, and eventually it just decomposed? Maybe. It depends on how long they were buried before that happened. What does that smell like? Not good. I wonder if you go to Paris if there's still a stench of death. I bet if you go in these catacombs, maybe. Ugh. Unless they were completely void of flesh before they put the bones there. But I don't know. It doesn't sound like maybe they had some flesh on them. I don't know. I don't know. But obviously it preserves the bones because if the bones stayed in, in ground, right. eventually they're going to decay. Right. Nah, I don't know. Bones don't decay. No, yeah, they do. Well, they find dinosaur bones that's under... fossilized. What's the difference? They're trapped in rock. No, mm-hmm. they have to be preserved. Some you can. F- if you just put a chicken bone in the ground, it's eventually going to decay and Go turn back, back to into dirt. soil. Yeah. Really? Yes. If it's fossilized, it will stay there forever. Huh. Well, that explains why we haven't found a Bigfoot bone anywhere around. Maybe they just decay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you got for the people out there in the trash talk world? Yes, guys. Just stay safe. Stay, stay safe. indoors. I know we're all pretty much in lockdown by now. Uh, yeah. Just keep yourselves entertained. Don't go crazy. Don't go looting or do something crazy. You know, Just have fun with it, man. Yeah. Nothing we can do about it, so just have fun. And that's what we're here for, guys. Be safe. Wash your hands. And if you want to be entertained, hey, we're We're here. We're here for you. (laughs) Check out some reactions. We got some good ones coming out, y'all. We got some more tool. We got some baby metal. We got some. I'll keep the rest of the secret. Baby metal Mondays and tool Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Yes, sir. By the way, guys, again, thank y'all so much for getting us to 2,000 subscribers. And we are growing. Yes. And I love you guys. My name's Behringer Hollywood 65. I am Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces.